Tanzania's Olduvai Gorge is a site that holds the earliest evidence of the existence of human ancestors. Paleoanthropologists have found hundreds of fossilized bones and stone tools in the area dating back millions of years, leading them to conclude that humans evolved in Africa. We obviously did discuss a few of the fossil finds from the site, but in this video, we would like to give you a brief description of some of the most important fossil finds from Tanzania. So what's better than a top 10? A top 7. We are going to give you the top 7 human evolution discoveries from Tanzania according to the Smithsonian. Number 1. Paranthropus Boise aka the Nutcracker Man the first skull of Paranthropus Boise was found in 1959 at Odawai by the anthropologist Dr. Mary Leakey and was dated to 1.75 million years old. Because of its big teeth and strong chewing muscles, it was nicknamed the Nutcracker Man. The discovery captured public interest in human evolution and Lewis and Mary Leakey went on to unearth many more hominid fossils at Odawai. OH5 is the fossil's official catalog name, meaning all the Y hominid number 5. Number 2 Johnny's Child, aka OH7. In 1960, just 300 yards away from where the Nutcracker Man was found, Jonathan Leakey, the son of the Leakeys, found a lower jaw. The type specimen, OH7 or all the Y hominid number 7, was nicknamed Johnny's Child. They roughly estimated the hominid to be one with a brain size of 680 cubic centimeters. A few hand bones were also dug up from the site. The hand bones revealed that the hominid had a precision grip when a fingertip presses against the tip of the thumb. The precision grip led the leakies to conclude that this hominid was the one who made the stone tools found at Aldavai. Because of the tool making and the big brain, the Leakeys decided OH7 represented the earliest member of the genus Homo, Homo habilis, meaning handyman. Number 3 OH8 Otherwise, hominid number 8 was discovered in 1960 by the Leakeys and was a well preserved fossil foot belonging to Homo habilis. The bones indicate the hominid had modern looking foot arches suggesting the species walked like modern people do. It shows an intermediate morphology between Australopithecus afarensis and Homo erectus, facilitating a combination of arboreal and ground life. Tooth marks on the specimen's ankle reveal the hominid had been a victim of a crocodile attack. Number 4. OH9 Dating to about 1.4 million years ago, the specimen was found around the same time when OH8 was discovered. At 1000 cubic centimeters, the specimen's brain was much bigger than that of Homo habilis. The skull had thick brow ridges and a low sloped forehead which are the key features linking the fossil to the species Homo erectus, while others believe it is one of the first specimens of Homo ergaster ever discovered. Number 5. OH24, also known as Twiggy. Twiggy is a skull belonging to an adult Homo habilis dating to roughly 1.8 million years ago, discovered in 1968 by Peter Zube. OH24 was said to be a skull of a gracile female and was nicknamed Twiggy in honor of the famous ultra thin model from the 1970s. It was found crushed completely flat, but paleoanthropologist Ron Clark reconstructed what the skull would have looked like, but it's still fairly distorted. Number 6. LH4 Laterly hominid number 4 is an adult mandible with all molar present. Most anterior teeth are missing as a result of post-mortem damage. In 1974, Mary Leakey started excavations at Laterly, about 30 miles from Olduvai, and her team unearthed a lower jaw with teeth dating to 3.6 million years ago. 
Around the same time, anthropologists at the site of Hadar in Ethiopia were also finding hominid fossils dating to more than 3 million years ago, including the famous Lucy skeleton. At first, no one was sure what to call these older fossils. After analyzing both the Hadar and Laterly specimens, anthropologists Tim White and Donald Johansson concluded that all of the fossils represented one species that they called Australopithecus afarensis. They chose LH4 as the species type specimen or the standard representative of the species. Number 7. Laterly Footprints the oldest unequivocal evidence of upright walking in the human lineage are footprints discovered at Laterly, Tanzania in 78 by paleoanthropologist Mary Leakey and her team. Based on the footprints age, 3.6 million years, anthropologists think they were made by an Australopithecus afarensis group. The footprints also show that the gait of these early humans was heel strike which means that the heel of the foot hits first, followed by toe off, where the toes push off at the end of the stride, the same way modern humans walk. And that brings us to the end of the video. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed the video. For detailed information of the Laterly footprints and other specimens, you can check the separate videos on our channel and please do not forget to support us by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. Till then, this is Halabella and see you soon in our next video.